We like to say it's the last chance for life in the event that a pilot needs to get out of the aircraft, whether he's on the ground out on the runway or flying in the sky, he'll eject and eject safely. You have to come in and perform your job 100% correct every single day because you have someone's life in your hands. Well, here at Holloman, we, we work on the advanced concept ejection system, or we call it ACES-2 for short. We work on the explosive side, the seat, the canopy, the cockpit, explosives. When I was an airman at my first duty station at Seymour Johnson, we had an aircraft eject and I got to go do recovery. Once they got all the pieces of the aircraft back to the hangar, we were able to go out on the crashed aircraft and help them see how the ejection system worked. It gives you a different perspective on your job and you get to see what the explosives actually look like after they, they have went off. When a pilot ejects and they come through your shop and they tell you thank you, it's very rewarding seeing your your job firsthand and you help save someone's life. I'm Air First Class Sushu. My job title is Eager Systems Journeyman and I'm with the 18 Kamoi Maintenance Squadron. So on a day-to-day -day basis, when we have the seat come to our shop, we do a visual inspection, make sure that there are no damage to explosives, no visible cracks, nothing that deteriorates the integrity of our system. And based off of that, we do safety wiring, make sure that all the connectors are tightly connected, so that way an injection, the seat can go off without anything being disconnected in the process. The eager systems only goes off once, and that's only when it need, it's needed. So in the event where an accident happens and it doesn't go off, it can cause someone their life or cause damage to property that should not be damaged in the first place. You don't ever want to put someone's life at risk. It's kind of a unique experience because you actually take pride in what you do. Play a critical role should an F-16 Fighting Falcon pilot need to eject in the event of an emergency. Yeah, your role is to have that system ready, always on standby. We want every aircraft that deploys uh, to return, so uh, the Egress personnel that get sent on our deployments, they want to be trained to be able to catch findings whenever they do their 30 day finals, because it doesn't matter if they're at home or abroad, the Egress 30 day final is going to be some that still gets accomplished on aircraft. They'll still have to do um, minor routine maintenance, and the still, those inspections are still required. So even downrange, uh, Egress personnel still complete the mission. When it comes to readiness, egress is always prepared. They're always making sure that that system is good to go because it, there is no second chance in that system. If our system needs to be used, then it, that it has to go that time. There, there's no oh well we can we can get it the next time. It's it's, it's it has to go on that first that first time that the pilot needs it. Routinely, uh, egress maintenance involves uh, monitoring whenever uh, time changes are due on explosives. Um, all the explosive items on an ejection seat have an expiration date, and those have to be monitored so that one doesn't go overdue because that uh, will ground the aircraft. And then additionally, uh, every 30 days, the ejection seat and system that's installed on an aircraft is uh, required to have a 30-day e egress final inspection. We'll go out to every aircraft, we'll inspect to make sure that the seat is still installed properly, uh, correctly look for anything that may have come loose or changed or broken over the course of the last 30 days. Pilot is going to need egress, uh, the egress system, if there are mechanical failures, if there is something going wrong in the air, you know, inclement weather, you know, something that damages the aircraft or perhaps another enemy fighter pilot. And then that would work for the F-16. The pilot would pull the D handle and a series of explosions would happen in the seat, would go through, blow that canopy off, jettison the canopy, and then that would allow the rocket to shoot up the rails and then the, another series of explosions happens to where a, a secondary chute would deploy, slow the seat down, and then it would deploy the recovery parachute to allow the, the pilot to safely float down. I enjoy working on the ejection seats and the escape system because it gives me a sense of feeling that what I do matters. Um, it could be a life or death situation for a pilot and I like knowing that some of the work that I did is going to be uh, something that he can rely upon. Uh, my favorite part of this job is not only that I get to work on uh, an aircraft, a jet, 
Um, my, my favorite part about this job is that I'm also securing a, a pilot's future with his family and with his future in the Air Force or in his regular life. Two of our uh, proud egress mottos are egress thrust you can trust and egress we punch pilots out. While several different career fields play a critical role in keeping a pilot safe, egress technicians maintain the ejection system that serves as the last form of protection in the event of a crash. Airman First Class Mark Armstrong, a 455th Expeditionary Aircraft Maintenance Squadron egress technician, says that frequent inspections are accomplished to verify the system stays functional at all times. Yes, sir. Once we take the seat out and the rocket catapult, we'll take those back to our shop. We'll do an incoming inspection, basically check all the different components on it, make sure it's all good. Every person on the flight line hopes this system is never used. That being said, every single egress technician knows they have a duty to verify the safety of all the pilots. We need to make sure they get out safely so they can get home to their families. Uh, every component on this seat is critical. One little mistake can cause a big problem. Okay. Since mistakes are unacceptable and failure isn't an option, Senior Airman Garen Terrio believes egress technicians serve a very specific purpose. God created egress so pilots could have heroes too. The egress shop is important because we provide all the systems and equipment for the pilot to get out of the jet whenever he or she is in danger and needs to evacuate quickly. So that's kind of carries into what our egress name means. Egress, the word itself means to get out or leave. A lot that people don't expect about our job is how many little explosives and big explosives that we have to help the canopy and seat eject properly. What makes us different than other maintenance fields is that we work in the back shop as well as working on the flight line, which we do most of our work as far as like seats, um, time changes in the shop itself. We don't actually test our systems because you can't really test an explosive. Once you use an explosive, that's it. That's why we always run like two verification system because we have to be very detail oriented. Well, along with being detail oriented, you also have to have mechanical skills, have the ability to actually work together with others, so teamwork. We give the pilot a chance to go home to their families and to have that reassurance that they're able to come home safely every time they fly.